Watch as fireworks go off in China. A fireworks factory explodes killing 23 and injuring 78. As Australia's athletes return home, hear some of their inspiring success stories they can share with their friends and family. Also on tonight we expose the truth about food additives the food companies don't want you to know. Those stories, a little later. Welcome to Tense Late News. I'm Sandra Snarley. First up tonight, a small KFC store in the suburb of Kelmscott has been under attack by a middle-aged woman. She is described as being small and having a mullet on her head. Ken Lee reports. Thanks Sandra. I'm here in Kelmscott near Armadale, and I'm standing in front of what used to be a KFC store. The fast food company has not experienced anything of this nature since the KFC in Cannington was burnt down due to Jessica Lee Dryden, the manager on duty. At 2.30 in the afternoon today a woman with a mullet hairstyle walked into the store. She placed her order and promptly received it. She was, however, not satisfied and she became hysterical. Attempts by the manager Brendan Ty failed to calm her down. She became like an animal, throwing chairs around and making barking noises. She then went behind the counter and destroyed all the equipment. A brave Kiwi employee named Kara Gurnik took hold of her, but she broke free and stole a bucket, filled it with chicken and fled. It was scary. As I was doing a tray change I saw her walking in, and I was like, oh no. I went out to the back to see if Kara or Eamon would serve her, but they backed off. So I said to myself, come on Danielle, the quicker I serve her, the quicker she's gone. So I went and served her. She ordered a popcorn chicken kids meal, and a large potato and gravy. I looked in the front and back drawers, and realized we had no large potato and gravy left, so I asked her, if she would like four small ones instead, because four small ones equal large one. She looked shocked and shouted out I have a family to feed. She didn't seem to get that she was getting the same amount of potato and gravy anyway. It's just in four smaller containers instead of a large one. She demanded her money back for the potato and gravy. I did that for her, and then I made her kid's meal and handed it out to her, but then her face turned red. She shouted out, I ordered a popcorn chicken combo not a popcorn chicken kid's meal, and I was like, um, yes you did, and she said no. I ordered a popcorn meal for my kids. You're all hopeless. You're imbeciles, the lot of you. She then went nuts, and threw chairs around, and went behind the counter and trashed everything. I was utterly shocked at the despicable behavior of this horrendous woman. If I hadn't stopped her, who knows how much more damage she could have done. I don't think she would have stopped at the store. I'm sure most of Calm Scott would have been trashed. I have dealt with this woman several times, and I had planned over and over in my mind what to do in case this event was ever to happen. I charged at her and held her down. But, unfortunately she was too strong, and she threw me off and went for the chicken. If you have any information about the woman, or happen to see a woman with a mullet lurking in your area, we ask you to please call Crime Stoppers. All calls are confidential and rewards are offered. This is reporter Kenley. Back to you Sandra.